and it was her lifelong dream to do this race. And after that accident, I promised myself, some point in life, I don't know when, How are we doing today, everybody? Hope you're doing well. All right, another day, uh, three miles today. I already ran 5K. I think I was 8.20 a mile, approximately. So uh, the day after Amsterdam, ran 11.15 a mile in Amsterdam and the canal through the canals it was actually really f I was in a lot of pain but it was really fun to just go explore Amsterdam in those early morning hours and then yesterday was 10 minutes a mile for three miles and today was 820 a mile and so yes the legs are coming around it's very exciting and yes it connects to the big announcement today oh my goodness um, okay question of the day hit pause hold on let me whoa let me turn that off Hit pause, guess down below, what is my next marathon? Now, no cheating, don't read, uh, well, okay, yeah. What is my next marathon? Just go down below in the comments. That's the question of the day. Uh, that is the big announcement today. And But you have to listen to today's vlog so it all makes sense because it's a big, long story. It's an important story to my life and I'm excited to share it with all of you. Uh, but if you don't listen to the vlog, you'll be shocked and confused and not understand. So anyway, just want to put that put that out there. Oh my goodness. All right, we're heading heading out everyone to the gym and then to a massage. Just uh, maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. The legs are coming around already, which is exciting, but a lot, of, it's just like those little things every day, including the foot log. So I've, I've noticed recently that quite a few folks are buying this. It is available down below from Amazon. I use this for, uh, I use this most especially to get, help get rid of my plantar fasciitis in 2018. And um, there's a lot of different recovery tools out there that are similar to this. I like this uh, particular recovery tool because of the, the, the <laughs> exact diameter of the, of the foot log, but it's these little, uh, I'm not going to like points, these pokey points that basically help relieve little, little tiny pressure points on the bottom of my, of my feet. And I use this every single day. Uh, but in addition to massaging, I'm going to show you, I also just stand on it like you see on the screen right now. And that, uh, I think, and based on the research I've done is actually more important than actually massaging your plantar fasciitis issue, like right on the heel. You know, it's very tempting to massage right on the heel. And I have, I have learned based on my research that that is not the best strategy. Actually, you wanna stretch your entire kinetic chain from your glutes, all, really your lower back to your glutes, all the way, your hamstrings, your calves, your soleus, all the way down to that fascia on the bottom of your foot and how I do it slowly gently work into it ease into it is standing right on top of it for 30 seconds on uh, 15 seconds off 30 seconds on and do that three four five times um, but you have to build up to it slowly so anyway thank you for ordering the foot log and messaging me about how it is working or not working for you definitely let me know but so far it seems that quite a few folks are using this right now okay let's head out uh, da, da, da. And before I forget, uh, so far, no one has guessed my exact time for the Amsterdam Marathon. Someone was two seconds off, very close, and I've made it through about two-thirds of the comments. There was about 2,000 comments, so... Uh, so far, I have not found an exact time. Oh, hold on. I have not found an exact time. But if I do, I, of course, will let you know. Um, so I am still digging through all the comments on the guesses. And the winner, if somebody gets it right, is going to get a new free pair of brand new running shoes. But uh, no, no luck so far. So anyway, all right. Let's go get this body right. We'll see you in, we'll see you in a little bit. 
Good job with your spaceship. It's a, it's a jet. Oh, a jet. All right, we're heading to the studio, everyone. The cold studio. Time to pull out the heater now. Oh, where's that space heater at? Okay. Oh, there it is. It's time. All right, everyone, the heater is on. We are heating up the uh, studio here, trying to stay warm. I'm just uh, reflecting on life. Oh my goodness. I was actually just glancing back at the Cleveland Marathon map. Um, I think I'm gonna keep that forever as a reminder. Uh, a reminder that life has a lot of twists and turns that we often cannot anticipate. A lot of challenges, highs and lows, um, the curveball, right? I love that uh, that picture, that analogy. Like life throws us curveballs, and I have I'm a, I'm only 34, but even since college, I've learned a lot about how life throws us curveballs, and it's really how we how we react to the curveball in our swing, which will uh, determine uh, the outcome of our success. And even in 2019, if you've been watching consistently this year, there's been a couple curveballs here on this channel, here in life, here in running. Uh, Cleveland was one of them with the injury, and it was hard to accept in that moment. But because of that injury, a lot of doors were open, including, yes, the Amsterdam Marathon. There's my bib number, gonna keep this forever. I'll write my time and date and uh, location, of course, on the back here. That's what I do with all my bib numbers. So I'll put 223.37. Uh, I think I ended up about 26th place, which is pretty neat. But um, anyway, so, but because of Cleveland, I ended up in Vienna to film Kipchoge. I ended up in Amsterdam to run my, to race my first marathon. So it's just wild how life really is a bunch of curveballs, and it's how we react to those curveballs, I think that determines a lot of our success. So what I'm about to share with you is, is hard to talk about. Um, it's, you know, it's just hard. It's a hard thing and like, oh, we're dealt a difficult deck of cards sometimes. And uh, so I feel like my mom has been dealt at times a, a tough deck of cards and she's a runner. Um, she's been running her entire life and uh, it's, um, I just, <laughs> it just makes me a little upset at times when things don't go her way, uh, including this dream that she had to race this one particular race here on this earth. And um, so the situation is that uh, I'm now signed up for my next marathon. And it happened in a, a way that I can't really explain, but it happened. And I'm beyond grateful. And it happened uh, because my mom, uh, I told a story here on the channel one year ago, and a vlog fan heard this story, now really a vlog friend. And I'm, she, uh, she's gonna remain anonymous, uh, but she knows who she is. And she, you know, did some work on her end and made this happen so that I could register for this race. So uh, if you didn't hear this story a year ago, basically it's a tough story and I'm not gonna go into too many details, but um, my mom's, a, she's a lifelong runner and uh, she really taught me how to love well, how to um, be patient with others and, uh, and how to persevere through a lot of, I'll just, I won't use, <laughs> I won't use a choice of words, but through a lot of challenging things on this earth, okay? And one of those challenging things was that she registered for this dream race that I'm now registered for 10 years ago. And um, she was in her car driving down the interstate and um, was hit head on by a drunk driver. And um, so don't drink and drive, all right? Out there, you know that, you know that. And uh, it shattered her ankle, uh, messed up her knee real bad, ended up in a wheelchair uh, about two months before this race. 
and it was her lifelong dream to do this race. And after that accident, I promised myself some point in life, I don't know when, but at some point I was, I was, uh, I would have been about 22 or three at the time. So maybe it was over 10 years ago now, but um, I said at some point I'm going to run this race for my mom. All right. So that's the backstory to what I'm about to tell you in nine days from now. I will be racing the New York City Marathon, um, which don't try this at home. That's why I put that in the title of the vlog. Don't try this at home. You don't do this. You don't go race two marathons. Even you usually race two marathons a year. Okay. Um, but because this vlog uh, fan and friend uh, really pulled through and made it happen so that I could get into the New York City Marathon. Um, which I found out about about six, week, six weeks ago. I didn't tell all of you because I wanted to focus just on Amsterdam. And uh, obviously Amsterdam is a flat, fast course. New York City is not a flat, fast course. Uh, but I'm going out there not to try and save my legs, obviously. Not to try and uh, run as fast as possible. I'm going out to the New York City Marathon to race it for my mom, okay? Love you, mom. If you're watching, you'll watch this at some point. And uh, so that is what's happening. That is the big announcement. It's a little insane. I realize um, uh, it's, just a, it's just a little crazy, but I'm doing it for my mom and I'm so excited. And she's a proud New Yorker. Uh, so she grew up in New York, just so you know. That's why she loves uh, all of her family is still in New York. And uh, I, I was basically raised in New York during the summer times. We would go out to New York all the time. So anyway, we're gonna do a meetup run in New York City. I will post the details very soon on Strava. And I love you. And that's the story, that's the big announcement. Um, I know it's a little crazy. And uh, bottom line, I'm not afraid to go out and try to live life and live life for others and I hope my mom can experience the New York City Marathon through me uh, running in nine days from now. And okay, I guess I'll just mention like, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. People apply their entire life and never get into the New York City Marathon. I think I've heard it's like a, a half a million people apply every year now. It's a lot. And I believe it's like 55,000 they accept, at least that's what I heard last, maybe it's over 60 now, but it's, it's a lot of runners every year, but it's like people never get into this race. So I am not passing up this opportunity. I know it's not ideal timing having just done Amsterdam, but I'm taking care of my body, uh, getting massages, eating well, going to the pool, doing all the little stuff. And at the end of the day, we're just gonna go out there and have fun and run this race together for my mom, all right? So I love you all and um, onward and upward. And I'm so glad that I can bring you along this journey. Okay, <laughs> it's crazy. I know it's a little crazy. Again, don't try this at home. Not a, I don't recommend this. Don't recommend this, but I'm gonna do it and it's gonna be amazing. Ah, so that is that. I already asked the question of the day. Did anybody guess New York City? I'll be curious to read the comments down below. And um, all right, onward and upward. I already said that. We're gonna to toss it back to, yes, the Amsterdam Marathon race vlog on the right, and we'll go on the left. Uh, we'll go maybe back to a Cleveland Marathon vlog when I was training for the Cleveland Marathon since we talked about both of those races in tonight's vlog. I love you all, there you go. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.